Hello everyone. Stocks basically traded nowhere on Monday on lighter volume. Uh, looking at the Russell 2000 and we'll use the IWM so you can see the volume. You can see it pulled back 0.24% today. Volume was well below average. And also as you can notice here, as the uptrend has gone along in the Russell 2000, zero accumulation, nothing but heavy distribution leading into it. So I continue to not really hope, but it would be nice to see the market either flatline here for the rest of the week going into Good Friday and or pull back on continue the continuation of below average volume. Either scenario is good. If we continue to melt up higher on lower volume, that's fine. That'll do great for our current long positions. It'll probably prevent us from having any new long positions, but at the same time, I'll take some gains. But if we do continue to melt up on lower volume, the closer we come to those old November, December highs, the more I'm going to start looking for an opportunity to start hedging and or take a big short position if there is a major reversal. Because without volume, even though it might be somewhere else in the market, it's just really hard to see how this will hold up for a long time. The NASDAQ was up 028 today the nasdaq 100 was up 0.37 percent today and as you can see in the indexes and the etf qqq no accumulation but at least we don't have any distribution on the pullback the dow jones industrial average up 0.12 percent today you can see that green bop is rising which tells me be prepared for a pullback and you can see the dia got green bop today and with absolutely zero accumulation look how quiet that volume is from the february lows I mean, nobody wants to buy stocks, it appears like. So it still feels like it's a short covering rally. Most of the long signals, while they have been nice, there's been zero great signals still. The ones that have been better than nice and closer to great, they're not producing huge gains immediately. Like we're not seeing 20% gains in two weeks, which you would think that we would see if this market really had a whole lot of momentum behind it. But like I said, it's not bad. It's not great. It's not good. It's just kind of eh, blah. Uptrending. Dow Jones transportation average up also, no accumulation. The IYT shows accumulation, but also at the same time, nary a pullback. So be careful out there if you are underinvested and you feel like you have to chase. I don't recommend it. But overall, pretty good day. Just wish that we would have pulled back on every index on lower volume instead of only on the Russell 2000. Now, there isn't much to go over for signals. STMP is a 100% sell on an end of day basis. I was completely knocked out of it, I believe, on this day, 314, whenever it traded below, what was my final sell stop, 113.08, so that was when I was knocked out, so I was knocked out on March 14th, but today it's a final full sell on an end-of-day basis, and even the green bop has significant, significantly fallen to a lower level in another distribution day, but you know, STMP, keep an eye on it, could probably base out and turn higher. Remember, this is one of the highest quality stocks overall in the market based on fundamentals and technicals. And then also intraday, I got shaken out of MSG. Not a big deal, but uh, MSG traded below the 163.01 level to trade down to 162.52 before reversing back higher to 165.03. Right now, with the volume being pretty low today and BOP actually following from um, – already yellow level to a lower, lower yellow level. I'm going to go ahead and wait. I'm going to see another up day. And if, the, if we have another up day, BOP gets stronger and or volume is heavier, I'll put a buy stop just above 168.19. If um, it breaks out above 168.19 ahead of before I can put a buy stop, then I'll put a limit order back in to try to get it at 168.19. If I get it, I do. If I don't, I don't. I still have limit orders on the books on TX on my ad signal, ECH on my ad signal, and unfortunately today I tried to pussyfoot around with USCR. Limit orders at 57. The thing traded down to 57.21, missing my limit order by 21 cents. What are you going to do? Um, considering how much the stock is up from the ultimate lows before I know I'm really wrong, 51.62. Um, it was worth the trade, but today USCR up 4.49%, so I'm kicking myself in the ass here because it was a perfect speculator quality name. In hindsight, probably should have done half my limit at 57.69, which is where it closed on Friday, and then the, done the other half at the pivot point at 57 level. But either way, you know, hope maybe, hopefully, who knows, the stock will pull back to the, my limit order and get me long. Uh, and or I could have just put my final sell stop at 52.71 or and or 53.55, which would have limited my risk. But like I said, in this volatile tape, I feel like it's too easy to get shaken out of names. So I'd rather have my limits filled and not chase. 
then chase, and then have my stop loss hit. So that's where we're at with that one. Also, you set nice breakout today. Considering, I'd like to see a pullback on its own um, and close down actually on a day, but maybe I'm thinking about putting limit orders at 418 because this is a very strong technical pattern. The stock held up extremely well in January, February, and now it's breaking out on strong volume. So I'm very interested in that. But outside of that, there isn't anything else to go over. We only have one ad signal today, and that's actually in the commodity space. Um, commodities look like they're, they all want to run, which is a sign of inflation, which means economic strength in the United States of America and possibly around the world with the world stock markets all looking like they have put in major bottoms everywhere from Latin America to Asia to Europe to the United States. But GSG is being confirmed by DBC's huge volume surge today. So GSG with its max green bop already, already strong accumulation in today's pocket pivot point signal will be an ad. 0.5% for being in the BOP, 0.5% for being an ETF. You can even do one and one. First sell stop level I would use is 1419. And then the final sell stop is 1379. So we don't risk much at all before we know that we are wrong. Um, you can increase the size if you want. I still might. I might increase the size. But overall, it's getting to be a pretty heavy position considering where my final cut loss level currently is, which I know it won't get down there before it does, but I think I have it at 1306 right now. Probably should move it up to 1337. But either way, it's a dollar loss on a hefty amount of shares here. But if the stock was bouncing off the 20-day moving average, this magenta line right here, which means it would have gone sideways for a bit longer, preferably three, four, five more days, and if it would have had max green bop the entire time and then had today's move with the pocket pivot point signal, then sure, it could be a 2% to 5% position, would definitely be a 5%er if volume was huge on today's surge. Volume was not huge on today's surge. It was just above average and higher than anything we see in the past 10 days. So for now, it's just 1% add. I might increase it if the dollar loss amount to my first sell stop indicates that I can. So it might be a heavier position. I might get it up to 2%. I don't see it going much bigger than that. But overall, market still healthy. Yeah. I guess it's kind of a mixed bag out there. That's why we're 50% invested on the long side. 49% cash, and we have 1% of our uh, account capital in Netflix short position, which is still working.